A new season is about to start in BDO. Hooray! But for those of you who have never played on a season server, what exactly is different from the main servers? Hi, I'm Too Many Riffs, and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about seasonal servers, what they are, and what makes them different from regular game servers. If you're excited, don't forget to smack that like button and subscribe for more BDO news and information. Let's get this started. Seasonal servers are designed for new and returning players to help them get started in BDO, but anyone can participate. There are various rewards you can collect by participating, which will give you a great start in terms of gear. The daily quests also help introduce you to certain parts of the game without throwing you straight into the deep end. If you're a veteran player, you can still benefit from playing on the seasonal servers, and it can be refreshing to play on them. But the rewards are not too desirable that you would feel forced to participate if you don't want to. These seasonal servers this time around are starting on June 29th, 2021, and they're expected to last approximately three months. You must create a special seasonal character to have access to the seasonal server, and only one character can be created per season. At the end of the season, your character will become a regular character. The seasonal servers themselves are not actually seasoned servers at all. There are special channels that are added and only seasoned characters can then connect to them. The channels have a special icon on them, so you can tell them apart from the regular channels. On these channels, there is a 100% combat XP and a 20% skill XP buff running at all times, but PvP is not allowed, and you cannot flag up for PvP unless you join the specific PvP channel. The central market and storage is not separate to the other channels. You can use your pets, fairy, tent, and maids that are already on your account as well. All horses, except Tier 9 horses and other mounts, are available in your stables. It is also worth noting that seasonal characters can connect to regular channels as well, but only seasoned characters can connect to the seasoned channels. The season-specific gear, accessories, and main story quest gear are the only gear that can be equipped by a seasonal character. These items have special icons on them. Each time you complete one of the main quest lines, you will also receive a season secret book of the Misty Breeze. This item can be used to gain a large amount of skill points, all in one go. There is also a special seasonal pass on the season servers. You can open the season pass by clicking on the icon in the top right next to your minimap. You must do each part of the season pass in order to unlock the next reward, but you can complete them in advance and progress will be saved. Complete various achievements to unlock rewards in the season pass. All players have access to the free version and can buy a seasonal pass in the Pearl Store to obtain the premium rewards. So that's it. That's the basic gist of what you can expect coming on the 29th with the new seasonal servers. Obviously, there is also the Corsair class coming as well, but obviously I will be doing different videos about that class as it comes. My name is Too Many Riffs, and if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like on the video, comment, and subscribe for more BDO content. It really, really helps my channel out, and thank you very much for advance. Again, my name's Too Many Riffs. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have yourself an outstanding day.